Hey guys, Sam here. So, we all know the developers have updated the game to include scav mode, a few new weapons including the SKS, and some other changes and additions. This video is specifically focusing on the SKS now that it's in game. Now we have the chance to go over the performance of this weapon in game with how the game functions in areas such as accuracy, range, fire rate, reload time, damage against armored and unarmored targets, customization, my thoughts on the representation of the SKS in game, and how I think it compares to real life, and more. Here we have the two SKS variants currently available in Escape from Tarkov, the Soviet SKS and the Malat Civilian Hunting SKS, sold for about 24.6k and 28k rubles respectively. You can tell the two apart by the color of the stock. The Soviet SKS's stock is a darker reddish brown arctic birch stock and the Hunting SKS is a lighter tan uh, slash golden brown stock. Keep in mind though, the stocks are interchangeable between the two SKSs. The stats of the, S of the two SKSs are also the same in their stock configurations, save one minor difference. The hunting SKS has a tiny bit more ergonomics due to having a side mount. Now we'll take a quick look at the two SKSs and note their differences. As you can see on the Soviet SKS, the only things modifiable and or removable are the stock, rear sight, and 20 round duck belt magazine. And moving over to the hunting SKS, the only things modifiable and or removable are of course the stock, rear sight, 20 round detachable magazine, and something that doesn't exist on the Soviet SKS, the dovetail mount. Okay. So, I'll just point out really quickly that these two stocks are the only stocks that exist in the game at the moment. The same goes for the rear sight and the 20 round duckbill magazine. There are no others to use. Next is the hunting SKS. This one is more moddable than the Soviet SKS. It comes with a dovetail side mount for sights and other additional devices. Now there's a few different options for optics on this particular SKS. I won't be going over all of them, but we'll go over a couple and tell you what I personally use just to give you an idea. Now, when you place the dovetail mount on, you'll have the option to add a scope or sight. I mainly use the OKP7 OK with the dovetail mount. Keep in mind that there are two different OKP7 sites, okay? <clears throat> the name and description of both will not mention that they differ from each other. So, the only way to distinguish the two are by looking at them. As you can he see here, the one with the dovetail mount has the big extrusion coming from it downward. And the other one that attaches to a rail has protrusions coming out of it on the side. Note that the sights are also the reticles are also different. The one that goes on a rail has a bullseye style reticle, while the dovetail mounted sight has more of a horizontal type reticle going on. You can also use a PSO scope since it has the dovetail mount. Now you say you want to use a sight or scope that sits on a Picatinny rail? Doesn't seem possible, right? Wrong. All you need to use to achieve this is the Pillad 043-02 mount. Here it is right here. You've probably seen this before while looting crates. There we go. By placing the 043-02 on the dovetail mount already on the hunting SKS, you can now use the sights and scopes you desire that go on rails. A couple examples 
are the other OKP7 site. The P1X42 Weaver site. The PK06. And even the Elk Inspector DR1 slash 4x scope. I hope this little segment about modification and different sights and scopes helped you out. Let's see what else we can shoot at. That will help us determine uh, the bullet drop and all that stuff. We'll shoot at the very top of this, just above that line. Oh yeah, we were definitely above that, that line, and the bullet is under it, just under it, so that's nice to uh, know. Let's try it with this one. Did I miss completely? Yeah, as you can see, the drop is uh, a few inches. Here you can see what I was shooting at these two blocks to the left and right of the telephone pole. For all sh five shots, I shot above the ribbon that was wrapped around the blocks and pole. You can see the bullet drop here is a few inches below. It also proves that the SKS is fairly accurate. There we go. Oh, look at all three of them silhouetting. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, let's get to a further range, but not too far to where though I fucked this up. Okay, we are all the way back there. Someone's down there. Press shift to get a better, uh... Okay, wow. So I pressed shift to, uh, hold my breath. Let's see if we can get him now. One shot, one shot, and let's try him. Wow. Okay, we're gonna just check out the fire rate on the SKS really quick. See how quick we can pull the trigger and how fast we can fire. Let's, uh, let's see. Not too bad, honestly. Not too bad. Um, you know, you can just pull, you can pretty much pull it as fast as you can click. Real quick, we're just gonna test out the recoil of the SKS. Well, we're just gonna aim under this USEC graffiti and see where the recoil takes us. As you can see, it's really not that bad. Let's try again. Move to a fresh spot. Get a little further back as well. And I'll shoot quicker. We will shoot right in the middle of this square. Let's go see how we did. I'd say that's very good. That's very good. Let's see how it does uh, hip firing with the recoil now. First, let's pick out where we're going to aim. We'll aim right over here. Also very well. Looks very similar to what we have done down here. Next, we're going to do a reload time. Just going to see how long it takes to reload. About six seconds, six and a half seconds, I'd say. So, that's one of the longer reloads in this game. Next, we're going over damage. The first, we'll be going over damage to an unarmored target in the upper center mass. As you can see, one shot to the upper chest kills. Next, we test a shot to the stomach. Oh, wow. What's your stomach at right now? What's my your... stomach is negative and my leg is zero and zero it's... and I'm in pain. It hurts. It broke like your it leg too? 
Wow, two shots. This next test is against Paka armor. Oops, sorry, I misclicked. Three hits. Next, testing the SKS against a helmet. Next, we test the SKS against Fort Armor. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. 39 shots from the SKS it took to destroy the armor and kill him. And then because of the current meta, I just had to test out the legs. And as you see, all it takes is two quick shots to the legs and you're done ski. No matter what you're wearing. Okay, so that does it for the testing part of this video. The next several minutes is just going to be me talking about how I feel about certain aspects of the SKS in this game, such as the Duck Build Magazine reload animation, the variants of SKS is currently in game, and why I don't like the current way aiming down iron sights looks. So, I'm just going to try and keep this short and quick, and first I will mention, or I will let you guys know that the ammo used here, it, it is real, but everything is drained out of it, there's no powder in it whatsoever, there's nothing, it's safe. Guns are unsafe as well, and there's nothing in the chamber, save one of those rounds that is um, just completely, uh, you know, inactive or whatever. So, um, right, r real quick, I'm going to talk about what I dislike in Escape from Tarkov, specifically about the SKS, specifically even more about reloading. So as you guys know, the SKS and Escape from Tarkov, both of them, the hunting SKS and the regular one, uh, military one, use duckbill magazines. Now as you can see down here, this is my uh, Chinese SKS, virtually the same thing as the Russian ones in game, okay? Um, Except I have a stamped receiver, but that's just something else. It doesn't matter. Anyway, right here, I have a duckbill magazine. 30 rounds, though, not 20. So it's literally the same thing in-game, duckbill magazine. Now, in-game, they have you thinking that to reload, all you have to do is pull the bolt back, and it'll stay back, and then you can take the magazine out. But as you see, when I let go, it chambers the next round, okay? So that's the first mistake of the uh, on the developer's part. Um, to reload... A, a normal SKS that doesn't natively take AK magazines, uh, there's a couple steps to it. So let's go over that real quick, okay? And I'll pretend that we're in game and we're just reloading and we have a, you know, a few rounds left in the magazine. So, um, alright, so we're gonna have one in the chamber and one in the magazine left, okay? So let me get this in real quick. Alright, there we go. So it's chambered, all right, one in, the, one in the chamber, one in the magazine. So this is the steps that you have to take to reload in real life with a regular SKS um, with a duckbill magazine, okay? So what I do personally is put my right thumb over the bolt carrier, pull back. Of course, it'll eject the current um, round that's in the chamber. Next, still, because see here, the bolt hold open does not work with the duckbill magazines, okay? <clears throat> so um, you have to hold it back with your finger. And uh, next, with either my pointer or my middle finger, I will push the uh, magazine release latch backwards, which allows you to even take the magazine out. So, do that. 
and now you can take the magazine out. Voila! And then you could still hold it open, take your new magazine out and put it in. But what I like to do personally, I hold it open, put my finger in the magazine well, and push up on the bolt hold open and release it with my thumb. So now it's open and I have two free hands again. <clears throat> so then, uh, get your new magazine, whatever. Get your gun. And now you have both free hands again. You can hold it and reload it. I don't know why that happened. Okay, so that happens. And now you can let it, you know, chamber the round. And now you are good to go. Okay, so that's the difference between real life and Escape from Tarkov. Escape from Tarkov, you pull the bolt back and you're good to go, okay? But that's not how it is. You have to hold it before you can take the magazine out. Now, speaking of magazines, um, I get that you want to have a larger capacity than a normal um, internal 10 round. This is the original magazine for this uh, SKS, by the way. I get that you want to hold more than 10 rounds. So what I'm wondering is, why couldn't they have just put in one of these bad boys? This is a Chinese uh, 20 round internal magazine, okay? Holds the same amount as the one in Tarkov, or Escape from Tarkov. Um, so it'd be nice to see this in there. I mean, as far as I know, they're supposed to be putting stripper clips and uh, the, the original 10 round internal magazines in there, like, because it's in the pictures in the weapons department. So, I mean, hopefully we'll see those soon. And then second of all, instead of in, uh, having Duckbill magazines in the game, they could have done something, uh, they could have just done something else to make it so much easier, which is this. If you want to look down here real quick, switch these two bad boys out. All right, what I have here is a whole different type of beast, or SKS in this case. Uh, this is a Sporter SKS. As you can see, it is shorter than the original uh, military type versions. Um, this is, um, this is, the barrel is 16 inches. It's a, uh, you know, sporter length. Um, if first thing you notice right here on top of the bolt carrier, there is no um, groove cut out for stripper clips. Uh, and the next thing you will notice is, check this out, I'm gonna take the magazine out like I'm reloading, look. I don't have to, uh, I don't have to pull the bolt carrier back. And then next, you will notice, there's no duck bill. Quack, quack. Wait, what? There's no duck bill, what? <sighs> yes, there's no duck bill because this is an AK magazine, regular AK magazine. And um, the SKS can take them. This SKS in particular accepts AK magazines, no problem. So I, um, that would have been really neat to see the developers um, put the Sporter or SKS M or D in the game, which all of those variants, and there might be a, more, a couple more or whatever, but um, those variants <clears throat> natively accept AK magazines. So you don't need to pull the bolt carrier back to take the magazine out. You don't uh, waste one round uh, when you're reloading like a duck bill. You just you just take the magazine out, get your new one, and you're good to go. <laughs> so that would be really neat to see in game, as well as regular magazines for the SKS, the original ones that are meant to, uh, designed to be in them. Don't get me wrong, the duck bill's neat, the duck bill's cool, but I just think that the animation should be right for reloading, and with that said, we'll move on. Okay, one more thing I wanted to touch base on with the SKS in, uh, within how, how it is in the video, in the actual game. Um, something I really don't like about the SKS at the moment is when you aim down the iron sights with the SKS in-game. It's the the back of the receiver, the dust cover, and the receive the back of the receiver in general is just obstructing your view like no other in the game, and um, and it's just not like that in real life. Yes, there, you you definitely notice that the receiver uh, covers there, but you can see over it. It's not your your eye isn't level completely level with it, with it blocking everything off. Your eye, as you can see right here, with my own eye. It's over it. It's 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 above it. So you're looking, you're at an angle looking down like that instead of just straight at it. So it's really not blocking it as much as it does in the game. So in the game, it's extremely hard to aim with iron sights, and it it, it shouldn't be like that. 
So that's just one more thing I wanted to point out real quick. Other than that, I love the SKS in the game. I'm so glad the developers implemented it. I'm so glad they put it in the game. I'm so glad they're including different uh, variants and um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for it. I really am. Although one more thing, I wish they had bayonets. <laughs> I know some of them don't, but I wish they'd put one in that does have one. So with that said, we're done with this segment. As always, thanks for watching, fellas. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, if you liked the video or any of my content, maybe consider subscribing, or at least stick around for more EFT content. Go ahead and join my Discord channel. The link's in the description. We're always looking for good people to play with. And finally, watch me stream at twitch.tv slash samcentric. I got my schedule up, so go check that out. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.